All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Two Pit Bulls where I do dog educational videos. My apologies for not uploading the past two days. I've been extremely busy with work and you know other things. So I'm sure you guys understand. I just let the dogs in to cool off. It's been pretty hot this past week. So uh, let's get started automatically. Um, so today's topic is gonna be 10 facts about pit bulls everyone should know. Um, these 10 facts are uh, just randomly picked. You know, I just did a little bit of research and decided to pick these because I thought they were pretty interesting and I thought, you know, you guys enjoy it. Um, before I get started, shout out to all the haters who are commenting on my videos. I appreciate your guys' hate because you guys just make me and motivate me to do more videos. So thank you guys for that. I'm not going to stop doing videos because every time a hater comments, I motivates me to do 10 times more videos. So there you go. <laughs> not stopping uh haters are your motivators and shout out to my uh supporters love you guys won't stop doing videos because you guys very uh strongly support me especially over the past few weeks you guys have been showing me a lot of support i mean a lot on the comments you know i'm i'm really enjoying replying to your guys comments whenever i can because you know i did get a new job so you know i, I kind of try to uh, reply to you guys as soon as i get home catch up on all the comments and you know let you guys know what's going on but uh let's move on to the topic uh, so fact number one pit bulls are commonly used as therapy thugs you know therapy dogs and so rather they are visiting a senior care facility or helping someone recover from emotional accident pit bulls are making a mark as outstanding therapy thugs this is pretty true um i have a friend who's in the police force and he has um experienced um you know an incident where he had to seek therapy because of whatever he witnessed you know a shooting or something scary like that and he wasn't prepared for that so he he went in he went in with a therapist and he checked in with her and she recommended he get in touch with this other therapist that's good and well reputable and known and they recommended that he get a dog and that dog just happened to be a pit bull dog that he has as you know a therapy dog for the moment and it's he really loving it and it's helping him you know recover from whatever it is that he saw and i don't know it's just like it's just like those people that come back from you know our soldiers that come back from overseas and they get like a pt i don't know some kind of what is it ptds syndrome or whatever it is not syndrome but like stress and basically they they get it from seeing all that um you know all those um shootings and just things that people in the military sometimes aren't prepared to see and another way to overcome that is by getting a, a therapy dog and so pit bulls are one of the you know preferred dogs for that but there are other breeds of dogs that are used for that but i thought that was pretty cool you know pit bulls are being uh, exposed to you know something good and not everyone's thinking that they're just bad dogs fact number two is that pit bulls are used in search and rescue work one example um is a well-known SAR pit bulls is Chris Crawford and her dogs. Chris and her dogs have helped save the lives of many people during their efforts. And I will post a link to that. Um, there's a link about this um, this lady uh, <clears throat> who you know uses her dogs to help rescue people. It's pretty awesome because her, do her dogs have helped rescue people. You know, up in Alaska where uh, they might fall in a lake because their car slides off, and their you know their dog actually goes in there and swims and pulls them from the shirt. So it's pretty cool stuff on there. You can check it out. Um, moving on to fun fact number three about pit bulls. Pit bulls serve as a narcotic and bombing sniffing dogs. One pit bull uh, named Popsicle, that was because he was found in an old freezer. That's his name. That's how he got it. Um, has the largest record uh, single drug find in Texas history. Um, you can read more about it at the link I'll provide below in the description, including how he found over 3,000 pounds of cocaine in Hidalgo, Texas. So that goes to show, you know, pit bulls are being used for something positive. Um, they're being, their image is being reinforced through these kinds of things. And uh, it's all good, you know, it's all good with the pit bulls, you know. Um, I really, really love my dogs. I love pit bulls. I think they should be, you know, much more appreciated than they are now. But, uh, you know, we're slowly moving up to that point. Moving on to fun fact number four. Pit bulls are great with kids. They weren't referred to uh, as the nanny dogs for nothing, that's for sure. So basically, you know, nanny dogs back in World War II, 
um, when moms were busy um, making food or whatever for their husbands who were out at work dogs were the uh, pit bull was the number one breed that they had in the household and they would take care of their kids because that's just their uh, nature you know nature versus nurture that's that sort of thing uh, that sort of philosophy so uh, pit bulls were very uh, caring and I would say Nala's very caring I mean she you've seen her in other my, of my videos she just loves attention from the from the nephews and nieces that when they come over they, she just loves licking them you know jumping on them getting petted by them running with them i'm um, getting belly rubs from them it's just she loves them she thinks everyone's her kid you know because she has that uh, natural instinct to care for you know to for to care for people so she thinks we're like her children and moving on to fun fact number five pit bulls are not human aggressive the american pit bull terrier is a breed it is not human aggressive in fact quite the opposite is true of the breed they are gentle and loving dogs like any dog individuals can be unsounded and have behavior problems so basically you know just you know some dogs whatever the breed comes out you know whether it's a bad breeding or the dog just isn't being trained well because of the bad owner has you know some some dogs may come out aggressive and that's because of the owner you know or because of the bad quality breeding you know if you breed aggressive dogs with aggressive dogs more than likely the dog is going to come out aggressive and that's because it starts off with the owner not training the per the dog properly so yeah, moving on to fun fact number six. The pit bull was so popular in the early 1900s that they were our mascot not only in World War One but also in World War Two as well. They were featured on recruiting and propaganda posters during this time period. This fun fact I added in one of my videos um, previously, but I didn't know they were in World War One and World War Two. you know, used as poster uh, mascots for propaganda and recruiting, you know, soldiers, young soldiers. So it just gave it that tough pit bull um army image to recruit you know young uh people to enlist in the army so i thought that was pretty cool you know i thought it was something uh pretty awesome actually and especially since it's part of american history and you know the american people tears a big iconic dog still to this day you know it's a strong reputation you know street reputation um all kinds of reputations associated with this dog and it's just amazing that at one point it was used as a military mascot you know to promote um the the um you know, recruiting of soldiers anyways moving on to fun fact number seven sergeant stubby a pit bull war hero stubby was wounded in action twice he saved his entire platoon by warning them of a poison gas attack and he single-handedly captured a german spy can you believe that a dog did all this a dog yes and it was a pit bull you see the pit bulls aren't bad i don't know who tells you guys this I know my fans already know this, but although you knew view, you knew viewers. Like, come on, man, the pit bulls aren't, aren't bad at all. Just all these facts point, you know, create another image of a pit bull that you guys never seen, and that's because you know the media doesn't want to show the pit bull as a nice dog because they won't get views, and no views means no money for them. Fun fact number eight: Pete the pup on the original Little Rascals was a pit bull. I've mentioned this earlier. Um, in case you guys forgot, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Um show and i think there was a movie about it too so correct me if i'm wrong but it's for, you guys got to check that out that pitbull was nice he was all white brown spots very cool dog fun fact number nine pitbulls score an 83.4 percent passing rate with the american temperament test society that's better than the popular bordy collie a breed who scores 79.6 percent you can view more of those stats on the link below i'll be posting in the description or i'll be posting a link of this um, article on the description so you can see all the stats and all the numbers and just check it out yourself and uh, look at her she's passed out I'm talking over here and she's like man dude I'm just gonna fall asleep on this cool floor they love this cool floor that's all it is look until he's on he's he's on his way to go to sleep but anyways moving on to the final 10th final fact they pit bulls are not killing machines let me stress that again. Pit bulls are not bad. They aren't, you know, these dogs out to kill, you know, humans or other dogs. Pit bulls are not meant for that. No, they are not. So, this is living proof of it. Look, these two pit bulls aren't killing each other. Look, they're not killing me either. Look, I'm not getting attacked. It's all on the owner. It's the people that are bad, not the dogs. You know, that's like saying all children are bad because you know their parents are bad no that's not it that's not it 
so I hope you guys enjoy this video um, I really love making these videos I really love educating my um, my fans and my supporters on YouTube um, please give this video a th big thumbs up my goal is to get 20 likes um, please shut those haters down for me give this video a big thumbs up just for those haters to to uh, you know shut their mouths and all that just you know just give me a lot of support if you guys are new to this channel please subscribe I really love doing dog videos I got a few ideas up my alley so stay tuned and uh, God bless I hope you guys have a good day see ya peace